we are back to the Hunter Classic today, and for our first hunt of 2023, I wanted to combine our two kind of main quests we have going on in this game. The first, of course, is to get a 400 scoring Roosevelt Elk for our trophy lodge, and the second is to continue working towards getting a competition trophy for each individual species in the game. In 2022, we were able to get eight more, which doesn't sound like a lot, but considering for half the year we are still after a 200 whitetail, and even still not every video we do is competition focused, I think that's not too bad. That's got us to 16 total, and I realize we don't have a blacktail trophy. We got whitetail and mule deer, but we do not have one for blacktail, so that's the main comp today. We entered a coyote one as well, and who knows, will we be successful today? Guess we'll find out, but regardless, I think it's a good way to start out here in a new year. Now this at least could be interesting. Our coyote comp is to take the highest scoring coyote from a platform, so either a tree stand or the shooting tripod rest, whatever sort of platform we can use. It looks to me that there's a pack of coyotes out there and we've got this heavy track, so rather than worrying about spotting everything, let's just go ahead and call them in. If one of them happens to be really good size, we can go for it that way. Otherwise, maybe it's just an entry and we can go and track this one that we have. Or, he can call right there, and we know he's out there. So, let's get a decent position here. Probably, we're going to go with the cable back bow. I believe we can use any weapon. So, we want to make sure we're close enough to make a decent shot, but far enough away that if the biggest coyote is really late coming in, the others don't spook from being too close to the stand. So, I think this will be okay. And as long as no kind of weird factors happen here. We should have a chance at maybe being top three right away here. The only thing I can figure is that maybe it's one of these guys with a 20 to 25 estimate. Cause like there's another track there that wasn't there before. So it must be one of them. I don't know which left it, but this guy does have the highest score estimate. So gonna be honest, haven't fired the cable back bow in probably a couple months. We had the Christmas hunts and all that, but we didn't take it. But Fortunately, standing still, no obstructions, that's a shot we can make. That was not the right coyote, which does make it kind of interesting. We'll pick up the track and see what that says. 23 kilos is decent. I mean, 50.5 isn't going to win that, but, you know, 87 GM doesn't hurt. That puts us in fifth right now. Let's see. Did we at least spot the right coyote? Evidently, we did, so at least we know that. Little unfortunate that it wasn't a bit better than that, but I mean, that's our first kill to hunt. Not gonna complain that that's not a competition winner. Now, the nice thing is, when it comes to the blacktail competition, the only thing we need to do is take the heaviest blacktail buck. Does not matter what the weapon we use is, if we're in a tree stand or anything like that, all we need is one to ideally weigh upwards of 90 kilos. That one was not going to, but we were just gonna spook it anyway. Fortunately, Looks like we got a long shot. I don't know what it would have weighed, but typically I think you need at least like a 140 or 150 blacktail to potentially be in that upper weight class. We can see. I mean, up to 80 is not bad, but again, not going to be something that would have a shot at a competition trophy. And finally, to complete the trifecta of the three things we're after today, we do have a bull elk coming in. We had the bugle from that on the track of the blacktail, so... Unfortunately, to be tracking two things, I sort of wanted to use the bow because there were other elk coming in, but at least no sign of any monster bulls running off. That will be a long shot as well. So I guess we'll mark this, go track the black tail, get back on this track, and it may, by then, allow us to fast travel to the Golden Tree Stand. That's where I've been trying to get to, so that would be one way to do it. And just to clarify, I haven't picked up a new track yet. I didn't realize the buck was laying right here. So we definitely could have claimed that before calling the elk in, but at least we kind of got to give a little extra time there for the elk to go down. 112 scores, that is just about perfect. Harvest value of 0.4, and that will give us 23rd in that comp. I think already, like 93 kilo or something was first place. We'll need a big one, but the nice thing about weight comps is we don't always have to just kind of hope for that randomness of one call, and as we go along, picking up every track we see gives that potential of picking up a max weight track, and of course that we know we want to follow, unlike a score comp, which a max weight track really doesn't mean that much. You know, all of this worked out pretty well. You can see the marker, 
that's where we shot this guy, so lung and liver almost certainly. That is what got him down in under 7 seconds. 165 score, that one has no comps, but good that we've kind of gotten to see all of the different species we're after today. Hopefully now we can start to make some strides in getting some better ones. So, again, we'll be picking up a lot of tracks today. That was a very small black tail. And let's go for it. Let's fast travel to the Golden Tree Stand and see all three species can be over there. We're falling pretty much in line with everything else this hunt. The only thing coming in here at the Golden Tree Stand is a gobbler. And quite honestly, he was very adamant <laughs> that we call him. And he was just nonstop over here calling. So I'm kind of wondering... Should we sit here a couple minutes and call for other things? Because he's been so vocal. There could be other animals around that just weren't getting a call in. That said, I've been continuing to hit these callers and nothing has showed up, but we'll still give it a minute or two before we jump down. And go figure. The only other thing coming in is another gobbler. And I should note as well, because it may seem like the hunt is going exactly to play and having shot one of each of the things that we're kind of targeting today, but it's been... An hour and a half and we have shot prior to that turkey three things so it's been a little slow there's another gobbler coming in I mean this the golden tree stands a fantastic turkey spot and if we were targeting turkeys today this would be exactly what we want to see but on the one day that we're actually here for deer elk and coyotes this is what we get but let's drop that guy I mean we'll take whatever we can that's the other thing coming in here to 2023 I am fairly confident we can get to 1,000 cable back bow harvest and we'll see where we can get to with the uh, crossbow pistol that typically is what I shoot turkeys with on hunts like this but we don't have it today so we'll go with the cable back and I'm kind of looking forward to maybe even with this video one thing that I was able to do like prior to hunting season was while editing other videos sit in a tree stand particularly on Settlers Creeks at a good spot and just kind of call things in whether it's elk or turkeys and get a bunch of kills in that way when hunting season came around there just wasn't enough time because that does kind of extend the editing process by a bit so with that kind of in the rearview mirror maybe that starts to help out with getting some of those kills but a 29 score for that guy that certainly is not really all that special this guy maybe was around 40 better shot on that right up at the wing there 44 score and then Frankly, I didn't even pay attention to what this was. Up to 50, maybe? Kind of a similar score. I think it was the double beard, actually, now that I think of it. So, should be about the same. 20 meter body shot, 45 score. One good thing is, earned ourselves quite a number of GM. But we'll just work our way down. I think we're going to go to this lake. Because a lot of times, like, elk and blacktail, even coyotes as well, sort of congregate there later in hunts. And then we'll go down to that next stand to the west of it. Also kind of a good spot for sometimes all those species. And it may be this spot where we legitimately have a shot. 85 to 95 kilo is the max weight estimate. The problem is there's another buck in this herd and it's somewhere way out in front. You can see these does here. The buck that we're just looking at is somewhere back here in these reeds. So most likely we're going to have to go with the gun. We've got the 243. There's that other buck. Got the 243 and the 308 handgun. So maybe when he walks through this opening, which he's actually doing it now, we could try to get him with the 308. It has been buffed, and this is going back, I don't know, maybe more than a year. But I have quite a lot of confidence in even that range, this gun being viable. So that shot hopefully will be enough to bring him down. It certainly looked to be a correctly play shot at least. Gonna be a little bit far naturally, but I'm hoping that's gonna get him in the lungs and he will go down. I actually don't know what the requirements are, like I hope it's not single shot just in case, but in the end I feel like we're gonna have to do something like that, and like I said, the 308 with that buff, I think it can take him down. Unfortunately, blood's not looking that great, we'll see what the first couple of tracks kinda indicate, but I did look at the requirements. The other important thing here is unspooked. So, that was why I wanted to go for that shot from a distance. That is a really encouraging health drop, though. And we have at least one, if not two more blood tracks. That's going to get him. That's going to be enough to bring him down, so we should be okay. And, uh, fortunately, there is no, like, special requirement for single shot or anything. But because we took the shot with him not being spooked, we should be all set. Just going to be a matter of 
just how much he weighs and naturally if we can find him, but that shouldn't be an issue anyway. So decision wise, maybe not the best. We shot him in this side, I thought. I wanted to see where it impacted. Maybe when we go into trophy shot mode, we can see, but let's hope for a good weight. 88 kilo, bad, not bad, probably not quite enough. Let's see where that puts us for now. Puts us in sticks, so whatever ways to go. The odd thing is I don't see. Oh, no, I do. Maybe a touch too far forward. I thought we had to lead him a little bit more, I guess, than we did. Had we just waited an extra fraction of a second to take that shot, we may have been all good. But luckily, it got him down. And in the end, he wasn't big enough to get top three anyway. But halfway decent as we make our way over to our next spot. Certainly worth stopping there at the lake. So you may be able to tell. A little bit of time has passed here. I've gone on a bit of a lengthy last ditch effort to get something kind of halfway decent here for one of the comps or just in terms of elk and unfortunately nothing like that has really occurred so we're gonna take that bull there he was the best option we had and i'm hoping that's gonna be a long shot i felt like we were a little low but these other ones were getting so close we were about to spook everything i mean on the off chance that somehow we didn't get the other we can take that guy. Might as well. Would have been a way to get a cable back bow harvest too, but also would have potentially been a way for him to just get away. So this guy, we heart shot. Lung and heart at that range is a little more encouraging for the shot that we took down here. What I don't see is bright blood. Kind of like obviously sticking out. That is body blood, so that's not going to kill the other elk. Luckily, we got the little bonus one. And... You know, despite the fact that we did not place in a competition or get a 400 elk, can't complain about a hunt in which we had estimates for both competitions we were in that at least would have given us a shot. And, you know, it's our first hunt back here in 2023, and I would like to at least do more stuff like this. I don't know how I hadn't thought of Whiteheart, Blacktail Comp, and also hunting for elk, but we'll probably be back here in the future looking for both of those things as we continue here in the new year. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.